hope you're all, all good. Um, we've got dressage today, so um, down at Canae. So we're just going to, we're just stopping off at Mum's and then we're going to head up and start getting the pony ready. Um, I'm doing advanced medium 85 and the PSG. Um, how am I feeling? Well, I don't get nervous until I get there and get on. So I'm absolutely fine at the moment. <laughs> Mind to be different when I get there. Oh, excuse the noisy motorbike that's just pulled up next to us. So um, yeah, no, I'm feeling all good at the moment. Oh, it's really loud. <laughs> um, it might be a different story when I'm on my way there, but I'll, um, we'll see. The only thing I am nervous about is whether I'm going to fit in my jodhpurs and tails because let the diet go totally out the window um, so I need to get back on track with that but that's not going to help me today so uh, yeah, I hope my clothes fit right I'm just going to plait Otto up ready for the dressage and I thought you might like to see how I do it so I'm going to start off by just sectioning his mane off into sections to pet like obviously the bigger the section, the less amount of plaits you're going to have. Um, you can do loads of tiny little ones. You can do big ones. The dressage horses do tend to have these bigger plaits in with the like kind of wings on them um, that make the horse look like they've got a slightly bigger neck. So that's the aim I'm going for today. Um, so what I do is I just section it down and make sure I've got an, um, an odd number of plaits in his mane by the time I've finished. Um, and then with the forelock it'll make it even, that's the plan. Um, I don't normally have to put a lot in here because, I, like I say, I do big plaits and they are... He hasn't got a very long neck. <laughs> I'll just section it all down like this. The reason I don't start plaiting it first is because sometimes I have to, when I get near the bottom, I have to um, change the size of some of it, you know, just to make it an odd number. I believe the reasoning for that is apparently if you've got an even number of plaits it draws the attention to the middle of the neck and makes it look shorter. He doesn't really need any help with that. So. That's just the way you do it. Oh, I've just not found it. Right guys, so I've sectioned his mane into nine sections, so it's totally up to you, depends what you want them for. And then a Right, so then I'm just going to plait it down, keeping it quite tight, I'm only going to go down a little way, and then I take this and just pull out the top a bit, yeah, see, so it makes them little wings, and then just continue the plait down to the bottom. And when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to fold over the plait, fold over the ends. So there's a bit that hangs out, look. And then, so it sits like that. Okay? And then to bun it, some people roll them and some people um, sew them in or whatever. I just band mine in, depending on the length of the mane with his. I can fold it in half and then in half again. And then just wrap the band around like that hi guys right so i've done his mane now and it's all bunned so the only difference with this forelock sorry it's probably not the best forelock to show you because oh, he's got sweet itch so he, he really hasn't got hardly any for those that don't know what sweet itch is it's an allergy to the midges and it causes him to rub his coat out i don't know if you can see this on his ears as well he does it on his ears is that better or um, this is much better than he usually is, though, because um, I've had times where he's had no mane left. I don't know if you can even see at all, but the difference that I do with his forelock is, oh, well, I try to, what there is of it is braid it. Um, so that's just exactly the same as plaiting it. But I just take a little bit from each side into the plait as I go down. It's really difficult to see with him. So probably easier if I show you on another horse another time, but um, 
it doesn't look very impressive on him even when it's done because of his lack of forelock. Sorry, the flies are driving him mad. He's normally really good to stand still while I plat him, but he's um, even with fly spray on, they don't care apparently. Otto, come here though. Come back forward. No, I really need you to come, come forward, Bob. Good lad. Oh, he's going to go straight back again. I don't know why he thinks they're not going to bother him if he's back there. Yeah. So I've just bunned it all up. He really hasn't got much to show you. I might put his head down a bit. But the reason I do braid it all the way from the back here is so you don't get them funny little tufts sticking up because if you just plait it, you can only start from like here. So, um, yeah, braid it down. Like I say, it doesn't look great on him. I'll show you on a, maybe when I do Lexi next time or something. But, yeah, that's him already. So his tail's pulled already, so he doesn't need that platen. So that's him plaited and ready to go to dressage. He says, hooray! <laughs>to go but then I just plait his tail down so he doesn't like if he poos in the lorry or anything he doesn't poo on it so um, you can, obviously it just has to be a normal plait but um, I want to show you how you do a fishtail for those of you who don't know sorry sorry there's just a lot of noise then for a second so yeah like I said just for fun I'm gonna do a little fishtail braid and I thought those who don't know how to do one, this is how. So you just literally split the tail in two. You can obviously do this in your hair or whatever, that's what people do. And it's a little bit like a braid, but all you do is you just take a small section from the outside and cross it over to the opposite section. And then you just repeat that all the way down. It sounds a bit bonkers and it always looks a bit like nothing's gonna happen, but as you work your way down, so just I just take it from the outside there. I don't know if you can see. Am I better off on this side? From the outside. And then outside again. I'm just always passing it over to the other half. Yeah, where you'd split it. And then just remember to give it a little tug because it keeps it tight. Just, just like I say, for those of who wanted to know how to do one, this is not even <laughs> remotely horsey, really. I don't know if you can see because of that light. Um, how it's turning out but I'll pick the camera up in a minute and then um, and show you it once it's finished but you literally just keep working down like that oh sorry Otto's going wandering as well do generally I've done this a couple of times than before but it was just because I wanted to learn how to do it normally I don't bother I just plait it because it's just a bit quicker but I just thought oh some of you guys might want to know how to fish tail so I'll show you and he goes far down as you like I'm gonna go quite far down with him because like I say I'm literally doing this to keep all his tail together so if he um goes for a poo in the lorry, he is a little bit less likely to poo in his tail. And then when you get to the bottom, we just group it all together, a little band in it. And you can make these here, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna turn you off a sec and just, so I can flip the camera. Right guys, oh, just took his tail out of my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a fish tail. See how it's slightly different from a braid because it seems to have loads of 
extra bits. Now, if you had it in normal hair, you can pull it so it's loose, you know, like pull the side, pull these bits out. So it loosens it all out and makes it look thicker. Or you can plait it in tighter. Like you see, I've got gaps in here because I didn't, I don't need to plait it in tight for him. But you can have it as tight or as loose as you want and it gives a totally different effect. So yeah, Ooh. that's how you do fishtail braid. Thanks Otto for being my model. <laughs> he looks well impressed about that, doesn't he? That's Otto, right? That's Otto already. So I'm just going to um, better get myself pulled, shall I? I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>
off buying a stower was it Otto? So I don't know he's, he's been really strong in the hand so I didn't really expect it to go particularly well but um, then when I got there he's actually really light and he felt quite forward and I was like oh so he's pretty good in the warm-up and I thought oh, maybe I don't need to do so much with him and I just 
um, take him in while he's quite fresh and he's listening. Um, I don't think the advanced medium wasn't so bad. Um, there, was, there was lots of things that could have been better, but it wasn't so bad. Um, and then I brought him out and had about half an hour before my PSG. I really wanted to work on getting him collected and trying to get some form of pirouette because we don't really have much of one at the moment. And um, I don't know, I just, I just lost him in the warm-up. I felt like he wasn't listening. He was really strong in the hand. He was too busy looking for something that he could spook at or anything to take his attention off what he was supposed to be doing. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I kind of played around with him for a bit. He's always so good to do his changes, but just lately he just is after my aid, like he just waits a stride and then changes or he just throws in a two or a three and is four and I haven't even asked him um which is a real shame because you know they're the marks that I'm, I'm normally consistently are pretty good for us so um when he loses them it's a bit scary um walk pirouettes the same thing have them at home I don't change I don't feel like I change anything he does them in the warm-up I get on that ring and he's like mm, no I'm just gonna stop so anyway, that's the joys of horses, isn't it? So um, we've got another shot at it again tomorrow. Not feeling too enthusiastic about it at the moment, but I'm sure um, I'll feel better about it in the morning, won't I? Hopefully Otto will too. He's saying Otto. I don't think he had a bad day, though. He had a lovely time ignoring everything that I said. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. Now I'm going to help mum um she's just driving lexi not that i'm a carriage driving expert at all but um she just wants a little bit of help a little few pointers of how she should go in the flat work so i'm just gonna give her a hand now <laughs> feel better? Heck Did yeah. it feel better? Yeah. See what I mean? I wouldn't worry about the tight ones for now. That's it. So if she just plays, just keep hold and push her forward.
We'll see you tomorrow, Trouble. It's blurry again. See you tomorrow, Arts. Ben's got himself a little pet ladybird. <laughs> Hello, listen to this ladybird. I called her Charlotte. Charlotte? Yes. Hello, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> I like Charlotte. That's the horses all done, so I'm just going to head out for a run for a little bit, see if I can clear my head and get back on this exercise regime that I've let slip. Not enthused, but I'm going anyway. <laughs>